So people often say GIF. No, no, What no. do you say? This is GIF. That is a GIF. This is also GIF. Yeah, this is GIF, peanut butter, it's edible. And this is GIF, the lemon juice. And this is a GIF. So today we are going to be talking about how to make a GIF and how to make one right and how to use one right. But before we get into that, make sure you give this video a like, even though you've not seen it, just because you like us. Give us, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified when we post a video. More importantly, leave a nice comment for us so we feel loved. Yeah. Let's go! So it's been observed that people will only retain 20% of a message if it's just purely text, which kind of goes to prove again, like the power of visual, uh, video or GIFs, for example. It's also better than images and cheaper than video. So you don't need to pay all the money it takes to create a video. You don't need to get people in to make you a video, especially if you use an animation or a live photo, you can do this yourself. You can use videos, we'll get into that, but you can use that to create an animation and turn it into a GIF, which means you get to reap all the engagement from what that video would give you, but without the upfront cost. Or work. Or work. Probably just work. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, it's easy to do. They are also a great way to tap into the internet zeitgeist. So, should I um, explain that? Chuck up, chuck up a definition, <laughs> definition of what it of is. Zeitgeist. <laughs> They're a form of communication on the internet. It's a cultural way in the 2021 time to communicate. Think about all the chats that we'd have. And if you don't have a response, if you don't want to just like respond a thumbs up because that's rude, you can send a funny gif. It's true, like um, an image says a thousand words, mm -hmm. like a video says an endless amount, but a gif. Happy medium. Yeah, exactly. So, are you coming out to the pub? To send the lads, lads, lads. Yeah. Sold. Or like, how are you doing? And you send the, I'm fine. You know, the, the awkward, flames. The awkward one as well. Fine. <laughs> yeah. So we recently um, did like a little launch video for our white label stuff. Like a teaser. Link below. And that incorporated a lot of GIFs or memes um, in a GIF format, but also it was heavily animated. Animation, animated? Animated. It's very, it's heavily. It's full of animation. It's got a lot of animations in it. <laughs> so we just want to chuck up a few examples to help you differentiate what a GIF is and what an animation is, because easily confused. Yeah, so. and also it shows that it's a great way to still create teaser content. This was for a launch, a big launch, and you could very easily make an ad, but instead we were able to use GIFs and animation and still get the same result, and it still look really cool, and tap into the zeitgeist and communicate with an audience that's gonna understand that and find that funny or interesting and easy to watch. So where would you use a GIF? Starting off, we all know, I'm gonna mention this, social media is one of the best places to use GIFs. Twitter especially, it's a great way to have a quick fire response to something. A lot of companies now are using Twitter to show their humor. I don't know if you saw the baked beans and Weetabix thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and loads of companies were replying using GIFs and stuff like that, just a way to communicate and be funny, which is great. You can also use it for posts and you can use it for on your stories as well. There's actually an option on stories where you can, you press create and then there's a GIF option where it'll bring up loads of different options for GIFs. So social media is a big one. I think with um, also on social media, like LinkedIn, for example, mm -hmm. I think, and Tom put the correct stats up here if it's wrong, but it's like your post is 70% more likely to get shared if it's got a video or a GIF in it. I actually made a video, Beginner's Guide to LinkedIn, where I do speak about how conversion is five times more likely when you have a video. Five times? Yeah. Five is that the same as 70%? We're going to assume the facts are right. But, yeah. Well, know. my video is right because I, I researched that. Yeah, and I just get Tom to correct my. <laughs> uh, another good use of GIFs is on emails. Um, so you can't embed videos into emails. A, because they're massive files, but B, most people will block that from coming through their servers. Um, but you can use GIFs. And a great example would be if you got like a brand that has got a sale on there, they'll often have like headers with like, sale, sale, sale. Mm -hmm. And they'll turn whatever content they've got into a GIF. Uh, much more engaging, more powerful, and just generally uh, much more likely to convert. 
Yeah, so when you get emails from brands and they're in like a set sort of structure, a lot of the time they'll use templates and stuff. You can go on like MailChimp and there's loads of different places like that and you can insert a GIF. You can't put a video like Dan said, but you can have a GIF. So you could create an animation and turn that into a GIF and that just looks so much better in an yeah. email. So something that would be really good and um, which we kind of do sometimes is we have a snippet of a video which we'll turn into a GIF and that way we can embed the first like five, 10 seconds of that video. People click on it, they go straight to the video. It looks a bit more seamless. Mm -hmm. uh, I just made all of it up, but it is a really good way to do it, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Next is on your website. So it is a fun alternative instead of product images or banners and stuff like that. If you have a sale, like we spoke about, you could have, instead of a banner, you could just have a GIF at the top with just moving sale, flash, 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 flash. Or if you have product images on your website, you could have that they slide and it's a GIF and it's just the product moving and a really cool image. It's just a fun way to spice up your website. It's also really beneficial if you've got a, a lot of information on your website. It's uh, It'll make it a lot more streamlined and quicker to load. Mm -hmm. um, so not only does it look good and easy to create, it's also a better experience for your user, potential punter. Again, lead to conversions, so you're welcome. We will leave our PayPal account in the description box below. <laughs> and at videos.com. Yeah, but you better be sharing that with me. So how do you make a GIF from a video? So one option is you can use live photos on your phone. So iPhone do it, does Samsung do it, live photos? Uh, I'm not sure, right. like, I've never used it, but they must do. Yeah, so they they'll have Apple. some kind of option, they copy everything. So you can make a live photo, where well, you can take a live photo, where you're gonna just be like moving, kind of like ding, ding, ding. And then you can swipe up, so Tom will include a little footage of this, and you swipe up and you can actually change it into a GIF. Number two, the other option is to use a online converter. Mm -hmm. um, Tom, chuck up a list of said converters here. Yeah, you can literally just Google it, convert mp4 to gif and it'll gif. GIF. Oh no! Oh, uh, it's a gif, it's a gif. This is a gif. This is a gif. Okay, so how do you make a gif from an animation? Uh, animations are probably the perfect example of the kind of content that you want to be turned into a gif. You can potentially make them yourself, but that's gonna get a bit costly. Yeah, all power to you for wanting to learn how to do that and probably an invaluable skill. There's going to be time, effort, and potentially money. And if you're running a business, you don't probably have the time to be doing all of that and learning how to animate. It's actually how Joey got started off with the idea for videos, because he wanted to create a course on animation and then thought, how great would it be to... It's actually because he knew f all about animations, yeah. and he thought, this should be automated because I can't do it, and I don't want to spend time and money doing it myself. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of documentaries all about that on the yeah. link below. So if you don't want to spend a ton of time and money on making your own GIF, then what other options are there? Another option is to use videos. So shameless plug, but as a videos template club or template club plus member, you can actually download the animation you create as a GIF. Literally simple as you don't need anything else. You can have it as an animation, as a MOV or MP4 file or as a GIF. Okay guys, um, so that's been uh, a video all about GIFs and not GIFs. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and leave a comment down below on any video suggestions, requests, or anything else you want to see. Or just if you want to let us know that we're ugly. Or if you've got any questions you want to ask, um, you know, feel free to drop them in the comments because we are pretty active on that. Yeah, we'll uh, we're going above and beyond our normal job description. Yes. And interacting with you guys. So. Yeah, well, right. thanks for that, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Dun, 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 Cut.